When my family went into exile from Tibet, we faced a lot of hardship, shock at loss of our country, no medical attention, and a severe change of climate. Five members from my family died within a period of two years, including my mother, who was only 32 years old. I came in exile with my uh, maternal uncle because my father and my grandparents uh, were under persecution by the Chinese. I think it took us almost a month because we have been walking through the mountains, hiding during daytime and walking through night. I remember my uncle always carried me, so, so he's very careful. We were almost always running, full of fear and uh, cold and hunger. We got quite a few of these frostbite children, you know, who even had to imitate. My parents could never make out of Tibet. I have not, never seen my father again, I never seen Tibet again. Tibetans who escape from Tibet and come into Nepal don't have anywhere to go. The Tibet Fund is helping uh, with the new arrivals, uh, food, nutrition. We also have a health clinic in the reception center. The reception center tried to help the newcomers. We tried to make them more settled and and get whatever job possible for them. We em employ old people also. Uh, we give them jobs to sort the of wolves and sometimes do some packing. So if they can't do them, they just stay aside and do some prayers also. <laughs> It's a very tough for many of the Tibetans. For instance, like my father, he was not an uh, agriculturist, he's a nomad. So it's difficult for him. He don't have the experience of cultivating and many things. There are so many elephants, so many wild pigs, you know, that we have to chase away. Otherwise, you know, like a, our crop will be just eaten by those animals, right? Before the Chinese came to Tibet, Drepung Monastery had more than 10,000 monks. There are only a few hundred monks left there today. That's why I came to India to practice Tibetan Buddhism. Today we have thousands of monks in India. We are studying Tibetan Buddhism to preserve it for future generations, and we are supported here. As an artist, I think the Tibetan tradition is the most important. This is the identity of Tibetan people. It's very useful to hold the Tibetan community because so now what we do, we are filming every, each and every performance we do. We are recording all the songs, musics, and then try to uh, send those tapes to the Tibetan community, to the Tibetan schools. When the children uh, study in the Tibetan school, we have Tibetan teacher, we have monks who teach religion and culture. So we have Tibetan textbooks, and uh, in those textbooks, uh, we, we learn about history, religion, culture of Tibet. Since the time we came into exile, we have been stressing on preserving our culture, religion, language. 
And for that, we set up our own Tibetan settlements. There are about 53. And when we have to communicate, relying solely on the Indian Postal Service is a bit uh, inconvenient. For each settlement, we bought a computer, a printer, and a modem. We taught them like basic operation skills on computer. Right now, there is a feeling of connectedness. This Fulbright Scholarship Program has been going on since, I think, 1981, when the program first started. And every year, they have been able to bring 15 Tibetan students. Right now, many of our central Tibetan government employees, our secretaries, directors, and doctors, nurses, physicians, and teachers, principals, are the majority of them from the Tibetan Scholarship Program. Going back and serving the Tibetan community, that's the thing the Tibetans have in their mind. Tibet Fund has established one old people's home. Although they don't have their families, they have some people to care for them. I'm sure uh, that the uh, old people there, they like it and they're living very happily. Escaping and fleeing from like uh, the Chinese, that was the only hope. Uh, we have some, someone out there to embrace us and take care of us, His Holiness and the Tibetan people. Your support helps preserve the distinct cultural and national identity of the Tibetan people. Thank you.